there, Princess Leia. Oh, it's uh -huh. just like you're running the stormtrooper. Hey, is that any way to talk to your mother, huh? Huh? Ouch. Sweetie, what is it? Oh, let's see. My back hurts from where they put the needle in my last treatment. Mm. Yo, Slugger. Hey, I see you're wearing the hat I gave you. It looks good. Did you give it to me because my hair might fall out? <laughs> oh, that's one reason. I want to shave my head instead. Obi-Wan Kenobi has a shaved head. I want to be like a Jedi. Well, you know what, sweetie? You barely lost any hair. Let's wait and see, okay? Hey, you ready for your treatment? You've got to beat this, right? That's the plan. That's the plan. How about some ginger ale to settle that tummy, okay, before we start? Cool. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll take him to the room. Okay. Oh, thanks. Right. Come on, sweetheart. <sighs> He's so brave about this. So are you. It's just an act for him. New test results will come back today. Maybe there'll be some good news. Make him better. Please. Isn't it bad luck for the groom to see the bride the morning of the guardianship hearing? You're upbeat today. You realize Baldwin will be introducing her prenup as evidence to keep his old man on the job. Your Honor, Chris Ramsey isn't marrying me for my money. He loves me. And I practically had to force him to sign that prenuptial agreement. How did that sound? Like you and Leopold have had some quality rehearsal time. We're not going to have any trouble getting Lee thrown off this train today. Well then, the next stop is proving you're competent to stand trial. One subpoenaed copy of Julie Devlin's prenuptial. As you can see, if they divorce, Ramsey gets half the profits of DL-56. He's really done a number on her, hasn't he? You know, just the fact that she signed this proves to me that she's got to stay at Ferncliff. Yeah, well, that's why we have this stuff, so we can start fighting them so they don't drag your name through the mud. The Julie Devlins and the, and the Chris Ramseys are out there, and there's not a lot we can do about it. Well, I'm sick and tired of them being out there, and I'm ready to start fighting them. But who is it you're going to take on, Scott? Chris, Julie, or David Bordiso? Bordiso has nothing to do with this. But he's there, Scott, and he's trying to take Christina away from you and Lucy. And that's what's got you so angry. Actually, this is when I do my best work. When Serena and Scott aren't here, I've just got... Christina, this is it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I just wanted to see how she's doing since I sort of indirectly got you guys together and all. Oh, well, you did. Oh, gosh. Do you, you want to uh, take a peek at her here? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, oh, hi, Marty. No, you know what's happened is that you sent over that beautiful layout. Except <laughs> everybody looks so oh, darn serious. It's supposed to be glamorous but fun. No. Just rethink the layout and think fun and sexy and glamorous, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll call you back, ta. Oh, 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 Russ, oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, Tammy, this is adorable. Well, you know, Lucy, I was thinking with newborns, you get so much small stuff, they outgrow, and I thought I'd get her something she could wear next year. Oh, well, I love it, thank you, but, um, you know, we're not positive that she'll be with us next year. Well, you know, I saw that guy on TV offer money to Christina's birth mother. Yeah, well, thank God nothing's come of it, you know. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't have my little sweetie pie. Huh. Oh, oh, uh, gosh, uh, here, uh, excuse me, just for, for a second. Oh, good grief. Hello? Sam? Uh, yeah, no, this is the tenth time you've called, and I really can't talk right now. Okay, Ta. 
Sorry. Listen, sorry, sorry. I don't know how you do this without any help. Uh, well, guess what? I haven't had any time to hire any help. Well, I'm surprised you're not going crazy being pulled in all these different directions. <laughs> Actually, you're right. I am absolutely insane, but I love it. Uh, except, you know, I could use just a few more hours in the day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Hello. Page me when Neil's test results come in and we can look them over together. Okay, I will. I couldn't help but noticing earlier that I'm still getting the dead eye for Mary. I take it you haven't told her yet about what Frank did to us? Well, I figured I shouldn't add to her problems while Victor's still missing. I don't like it, but I know you're trying to protect her. That's something Frank and I would have done together in the past. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm on my own here. Well, I've gotten used to her glare. I barely notice it anymore. <laughs> Everything will be straightened out soon. I hope so. Oh, uh, Joe, mm. Courtney took Neil to start the chemo. I better go join them. Dr. Quartermain wants you to review these post-op charts. Sure. I know how hard this must be for you, Mary, with Neil and everything. If there's anything... Thank you, I'm just fine. What I need is for you to review those charts. And uh, to continue your excellent care of Neil. We all appreciate that. As uh, so for the rest, I can handle it on my own. Mr. Baldwin. Yes. You'll be stepping in for your father today, I understand? That's right, Your Honor. Let's get started then. Ms. Devlin, do you want me to remove Lee Baldwin as your legal guardian? Yes, Your Honor. Lee Baldwin has an excellent reputation here in Port Charles. I, I'd have thought you were in fine hands. Has an and excellent I would reputation have thought so, here too. In... That's why I've been so alarmed fine by hands. his recent... That's well, I, I feel he's harming my recovery. Your Honor, Ms. Devlin has been deemed mentally unfit by the state. To render informed opinions on what will help or hurt her recovery, I don't think she's in that position. The court is aware of Ms. Devlin's diminished state. I'd still like to hear from her. Please continue. I don't have many friends, sir. There aren't a lot of visitors when you're in a place like Burncliff. It meant so much when Chris started coming around, but Mr. Baldwin had him barred from seeing me. Well, as I will show later, he was trying to protect her from being bilked by a fortune hunter. Your Honor, I didn't want to make this ugly today, but that man isn't giving me any choice. Save the dramatics, Ms. Devlin, and get on with it. Lee Baldwin has a temper. What are you suggesting? When Lee found out that I wanted a new guardian, he got angry. So angry, he assaulted me. Verbally? And physically. He shook me violently. It would have been worse, but that attack he had stopped him. Your Honor, these charges are ridiculous and highly offensive. Not at all. Dr. Ramsey and I were there to witness the entire scene. Here are three sworn affidavits. Now, whatever fine qualities he may have possessed in the past, Lee Baldwin is no longer a stable man. He assaulted Miss Devlin, and we witnessed it. Uh, Lark! Oh, hi. Come in. I had not a clue you were delivering for Mario. Oh, I'm saving up for college this fall. Oh, well, that's terrific. Um, Tammy Carson, this is my friend Lark, my friend Tammy. Lark, Tammy, Tammy. Nice to meet you. You too. Oh, let me see the baby. Oh, she's mm -hmm. beautiful. Are you putting her down for a nap now? Well, she just had one, and I want her to stay awake because she's keeping me awake all night, so I just want her to stay up, you know? Really? Well, I know a trick. When they don't have a blanket on, some babies respond more to noise. You don't get more active. Where in the world did you learn that? We had a newborn in one of my foster homes. And when I was volunteering at GH, I spent a lot of time in the nursery. I love babies. I think if you watch them close enough, they can teach you everything you need to know. <sighs> well, um, you know, I can see that you two have an awful lot to talk about, and I have to get back to work. Lark, it was a pleasure meeting you. You too. Bye-bye. Oh, 
Sammy, thanks so much for coming. Lucy. Five? What? This is so amazing. I mean, here you are with no time to find somebody to help you with Christina. And the universe sends you this girl along who loves kids. It's great. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Oh, and thank you for that outfit. Bye. I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. Okay, ta. Bye. So how's Lee doing? Well, Monica says he's really doing very well. <laughs> How are you? I've been better. We've had to restart Neil on chemotherapy. Oh, Karen, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Joe must be so upset. He's trying to be strong for Neil. <sighs> Courtney. Well, have the two of you been able to find any time to work out your problems? <sighs> We've been so busy with meal, work, everything. You know, maybe, maybe it would be a good idea if you tried to see each other outside of the hospital. His son is sick, Gail. You know, he's really going to need someone to lean on now, and so are you, and it's very important that you... There he is. Here's your chance. Okay, I'll see you later. I have the new test back. The leukemic levels haven't changed. But the chemo isn't working. I keep hoping I'm wrong, you know. Will you look this over? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Should we say anything to Courtney? Uh, not until you've double-checked the data. Hi. Hey. Neil's asking for you. Okay, I'm going down. Why don't you take a break? Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll be there in a minute. Can I get you some coffee? No, I'm fine. You know, there's sandwiches in the residence room. They're not the best, but we eat them. Look, I'd just like a little time to myself, please. I'm sorry. I, I know you're trying to help. Courtney, you're an amazing mom. I see sick kids and their parents every day. You're up there with the best. Thank you. I'll let you have that moment alone now. Your Honor, the only reason why we're here today is because Chris Ramsey is on the brink of bankruptcy. He has conned a mentally ill woman into thinking that he loves her when all he loves is her money. Your Honor, that is pure speculation. Have you any proof? Yes, Your Honor, I do. A document here that guarantees Ramsey 50% of the proceeds from DL-56 if he marries Miss Devlin. This is why my father thought that he should be kept away from her, and he was right. Dr. Ramsey, this doesn't look very good. Your Honor, I can explain. Your Honor, we keep hearing explanations from a woman who has been deemed unfit by the state. I admire your passion, Counselor, but there is a practical point here. A prenup presupposes a marriage. Under the tenets of Ms. Devlin's conservatorship, she cannot marry legally at this time. You're absolutely right, Your Honor. That's why I think that Ramsey's plan is not to change guardianship, but to have her declared competent. So she can marry? Well, competency offers her a shot at a new trial, and I'm sure that Ramsey has convinced her that if she marries him, he will see that she's freed. Lee Baldwin is a good man. But the evidence paints a poor picture of him as a guardian for Julie Devlin. Your Honor, those affidavits are lies. I can't assume that Mr. Leopold and Dr. Ramsey have perjured themselves. As for the prenup, it's insufficient to prove that Dr. Ramsey is not genuinely in love with Ms. Devlin. Your Honor, if my father was here, he would explain. But your father can't be here. And that could be an indication that perhaps this job is too taxing for him. I'm sorry. I have no choice but to rule on the uh, evidence presented and to order a change in conservatorship for Julie Devlin. The court orders that Darren Leopold will be the new guardian for Ms. Devlin. We're adjourned.
Hello. Yeah, Lucy, it's me. The judge replaced Lee as Julie's guardian. I cannot believe that they would take the word of a mental patient and a gold digger over Lee's. Well, I guess that's how justice works these days. I gotta stop by the hospital and tell Lee the bad news. I'll catch you later. Bye. Tom. Hey, uh... Lark, uh... Listen, I really, really would like to go um, help out Scott for a minute. Do you think it'd be possible for you to stay here with Christina? I'd love to. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I mean, you're confident and comfortable enough to do this? Feedings every three hours, emergency numbers on fridge, changing stuff over there. And when you put her down for a nap, always on her side or back. Very good. Mm. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm going to fly. Listen, I'm going to leave you my cell phone number right here, okay? So if you call me, uh, I mean, anything, like, like a question about anything, just don't hesitate, okay? Okay. okay. Um, listen, just call. Okay. <laughs> you're going to be nervous anyway, so call all you want. I won't mind. Okay, you're right. Thank you. I will be. Oh, oh, sweet pea. Okay, listen, i got to go help out your daddy, okay? I will be right back. It's just a few minutes. You're in, you're in good hands. Okay, Ta, thank you. Thanks so much. I uh, hope Lee enjoys his quiet time. This isn't over. Excuse me. Oh, poor Scott. If he thought this hurt, it's going to be quite an ouch when I get out of Ferncliff and get my daughter back from him and Lucy. What is it? The tests don't show a change in his leukemic cell count. But, but the chemo is supposed to eradicate the leukemia. It may not be working. Well, then there's a mistake. They, they used the wrong sample. Maybe the, the machine needs to be checked, Joe. Karen and I double-checked everything. Everything. <sighs> so, uh... So, uh, that... What am I supposed to tell Neil? You don't have to say anything yet, okay? It's, it's too early to know for sure. Well, he'll be able to see it in my face. <laughs> Is my baby going to die? Courtney, listen to me, okay? If the chemo isn't successful, we can do other things. They keep jabbing him with those awful needles. And, and then he can't eat. And when he does, he just throws it all up. Then uh, what, what, if, what if none of it works? Courtney. I can't lose him, Joe. I can't lose hey, him. Hey, listen to me. You listen to me. We're not going to, okay? We are not. I promise you. Expect to see you here. Um, moral support. You want some? Yeah. <laughs> well, I take it things didn't uh, go as we'd hoped today, huh? No, the judge made Leopold. Julie's guardian. Yeah. They played dirty, and I should have done that, too. I should have done what I used to do in the old days. We would have won God, here. At what price? I don't want you rolling around in the gutter with Chris Ramsey and Darren Leopold. Yeah, but you deserve better. I had the best in there today. I'm sure of that. Hey, um, I, I need to just call Lark for a minute. She's watching Christina for me. Oh, sweetheart, why, why don't you both just go on home? I mean, it's been a long day for you, and we're fine. We're fine here. Yeah. Really, well, okay, if you say so. Hey. Thanks, honey. Sorry. Okay. Um, we'll talk to you later, okay? Okay. Okay.
Well, so much for the high road, you know. I hate losing to any of them. To your girls and to me, you're not a loser. You are the absolute biggest winner in the world. Well, you know, Lucy, that's all that matters to me, what you girls think of me. However, I'm going to find a way to beat them. I'm going to beat them all, especially Bordizo. <laughs> <laughs>